rooted in respect and honor. Well, respect and friendship are not only based on... on based on, on respect, and that is utterly disrespectful. It's fundamental, according to you. Yes. But uh, we, we also are the biggest uh, development recip uh, cooperation recipient from Germany in Africa. Isn't that the least somebody that can do that looted you and murdered you? Isn't that the very least? Is that something to clap and applaud for? No, it's just a reality. If I come and loot and kill your family, and then afterwards I bring you a few shirts, are you going to clap for me, really? That's what's happening. Uh, yeah, but then you also need to ask yourself, where did you define your value? Can you really repay murder? Can you really repay genocide with a few little cheap donations? Okay. How do you define your value as a people? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's where I feel something has to happen in the mindsets of people here because I come across this quite a lot. And that's what's saddening me where I see the mental brainwashing has been, has taken its toll on people that they came to believe that this is all they deserve, you know, after what has happened. You have to understand that so-called developed countries would not be where they were if it wasn't for free labor, free resources, and so on, so on, so on, that they took from countries like Namibia, you know, and many others across the world. So we can't just refer to a first world and a third world. We can't refer to a world uh, or, or countries that have previously been colonized, and we can refer to countries that have colonized and made use of free resources and free labor, and that's why they're ahead of others. And that's the very least they can do is give a little. But I feel that's not enough. The most important person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs.